Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to review these. What are these? Dell Precision 7650 laptops. And we have these configured much more like workstations than laptops. These are 16 inch monitors with the high-end Intel Core Ultra 165H spec CPU. The H is the high end. The U's, which you see all over the place, they work for ultra mobile, things that executives would use. This is too big and heavy to be used by an executive. Comes in over four pounds, which doesn't sound like much, but trust me, when you're carrying it, especially with executives being used to things that are two and a half pounds these days, four pounds is a lot. Now, in addition to reviewing this, we're going to unbox it. We will provide a partial disassembly to show you to do basic upgrades on it and show you what's inside of it. We'll also set up Windows 11 on it, and then we will provide a review of what we think of this unit. Because while we've had several of these in the past, we haven't had anything with this highest spec. Let's take a look. And while we're doing this, we're going to explain some of the odd spec uh, when you're ordering this. In case you want to order something different from us, you'll find that there are some quirks you need to know about. Okay, the manual's useless. It just says plug things in. I'm in North America, so I get a North American uh, cable, but it's on a universal brick. The unit itself. Okay, let's get to this. So nothing interesting on the top. On the sides here we have headphone jack, USB 3.2 Gen 1, USB 3.2 Gen 1 with power share, and of course Kensington lock connector. Nothing interesting on the back. On this side, this is where it gets interesting. HDMI port, but it's not a normal HDMI port. It's an HDMI 2.1, which will support anything you want to throw at it. Then there are two Thunderbolt 4 with DisplayPort ports. You can also call them USB 4, because that's what they are. And this port, DisplayPort 2.1. Because it's Thunderbolt 4, you can put through 40 gigabit per second. Oh my God, that's fast. And then there's a diagnostic light, which simply tells you the battery state. If it's blinking yellow, you need to charge right now. Nothing on the front. Let's open it up. It does have a hinge that opens all of the way, which is a bit surprising because it's not a touch screen. And in fact, I can't find a touch screen option for this unit. Okay, then along the top, we have all of the camera apparatus. And this is the high-end camera. It's the infrared camera, so you can use it with Windows Hello. It has the infrared camera, the infrared LED, an RGB camera, camera light status, and it also has an ambient light sensor so that it can automatically adjust the brightness of the screen, which is quite nice. It also has the typical privacy shield. At first glance, it just seems to be a regular laptop a keyboard, but it's not. It's a backlit keyboard, and this has the Copilot key, which comes only with high-end CPUs that support AI that have neural processing units like this one does. We're gonna get into the spec in just a moment. And that makes this a Copilot PC, an AI PC. It also sports Intel V Pro Enterprise, for those of you who care about that, for corporations that are trying to manage, it's excellent. It also has a fingerprint scanner built into the trackpad. And that gets to a good point. If you order this with 16 gig of RAM and the fingerprint scanner, you can only get the 256 gig hard drive. What's that about? If you order the 32 gig, you can get the fingerprint scanner and the 512. And 512, again, what's that about? With a unit that costs, uh, well, this is a little over $2,000 Canadian, so for rough math, $1,500 US, I would expect it to have a one and two terabyte option. It does not. 256, 512, that's it on the 7650s. Okay, let's do a basic disassembly. We have specialized tools, but you don't need them. Just a number one Phillips, that's the star, will do just fine. There's no pry points on laptops anymore, so now you have to get a credit card or something flat, pry up a corner, usually by trying to lift a screw, there we go, and then just sliding your card around. Very nice and light. I'm guessing this is magnesium or something. Very nice, very solid, very rigid. Let's go through the components. Speakers, you're never going to pull those out, but they're there. Battery, this was also an oddity. You can only buy a 57 watt hour battery for this. You can't get a larger one. There's clearly space. I don't really know what they were thinking, but that's all you can get. Here's your hard drive. So it's a 2242 by the looks of it. Take the screw out, pull the cover off. It'll be under there. CPU and GPU are here and they have dual fans. So these heat pipes take the heat from your cores, move it out here and blow it out. And something that's missing on this one that I'm a bit surprised at is a WAN port. So this would be where you put in a SIM card. Very unexpected. Another thing that's odd, 
is this tiny little battery, which is your BIOS battery. It's not the typical CR2032. Very odd. I can also see they've reduced the size of the Wi-Fi card. That's going to be Wi-Fi 6. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It's the best going and you'll be very happy with it. There's the two antennas. One goes behind the keyboard, one goes behind the screen. So no matter which way you have it, it's happy. If you ever have this apart after it's new, blow those out. If you don't have a can of compressed air, blow it with your mouth. Just push out as much crud that's stuck on here as you can. These are brand new, so they're perfect. So here's something you might not have seen before, a neural processing unit, an NPU. So what do we think of this unit? Well, it's super powerful. It's only four pounds, so it's not incredibly heavy, but the executives aren't gonna to wanna to carry it. Um, and for our use, which is some high-end research, this is going to be a great device. Our users can't wait to get their hands on them. So we really like this. So hey, if you found this video useful, a big thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.